Welcome back to my channel and in this session we are going to see about jQuery fed events. Now let's see about what is the use of these events. So for that first let's take a real life example. Nowadays we are using many types of websites and softwares and in mostly websites and softwares we see a list of the menus that contains a sub menus in it. So when we click on a menu item at that time its sub items is displayed or it's been hidden. To do, do this types of functionality jQuery has provided us the fed events. Here are the list of four types of fed events. Fed in, fed out, fed toggle and fed to. First let's understand fed in. What does the fed in event do? The fed in event displays the object or the text to you. The fed out event hides the object or the text that has been displayed to you. The fed toggle is the combination of fed in and fed out. And the last one is fed to. Now uh, fed to means to freeze something, to give a freeze effect. Let's take an example, uh, if we are using some online tools, at that time the tools provides us two types of version, the pro version that is the paid version and the free version. So if we are using a free version then we can't use the functionalities of a paid version but we can see the list of all the functionalities of the paid versions also. But the functionalities of the paid version is freezed to us. So to give the freeze effect, the fed to event is there. Now here is the syntax, the dollar, then the target means where we want to perform our event, dot event name means which event we would need to perform and then the function comes and between the curly brackets of the function we need to write our code means what we need to implement when the event is being performed. Now let's see all these types of events in our code. Now we will see our code that will perform all our fed events. First we will perform the fed in event. Now I am saving the file as fed events and in the title I am giving my title is jQuery fed events. Now I am using a script tag over here that will implement my jQuery. I am implementing the jQuery by using its version as I have installed the jQuery into my personal system. If you wa does not want to set up the jQuery into your personal system then you can implement the jQuery using the CDN. How to do that is shown in the previous videos. Now with the help of SRC I am implementing the jQuery over here. Here it's the version of my jQuery and uh, now I am again using the script tags and between this script tag we will write our jQuery script code. Now what we need to do is we need to perform the fed in event on the click of a button. Now when you are using a fed event you can give some parameters to it. The first one is non-parameterized that is it will perform as normal. Then second you can give some speed to it that at what speed we need the fed implementation and the third one is by using the string that is fast and slow. Now first I want to create a button over here. So I am creating a button and giving the text to it as click me. And uh, I am creating the three text over here giving it different IDs as P1. And uh, between the P tag I am giving the text as I will be fed in as per normal.
then I am creating the another text over here and uh, giving its ID as 2. And uh, I'm creating my third text over here, giving its ID as P3. And uh, now, uh, the one thing you have noticed that is I have given the style, and in that, I have given display none. Uh, why I have given this? Because we are using the fed in. So if we doesn't write display none, then it will be automatically displayed when I will run my file, and uh, then there is uh, the no use of adding over here. So uh, when you are using the menus at that time, by default, the sub menus is not displayed to you. So to display that thing, the fadding comes in the picture. Now here, if I will run this file then uh, automatically by default it will be displayed to us then the effect of the fading will be not seen by us so that's why i have given the style as display none now i'm writing the script over here The click is basically the mouse events that we have seen in our previous lectures and uh, the document dot ready uh, means the document that's our page and dot ready means when the uh, page is fully loaded at that time we need to perform the function that is the types of tasks we will write over here. So first task is the button dot click means when the button will be clicked at that time what we need to do we need to fed in our first text normally so fed in and without any type of argument just place a semicolon now the next one It will contain the argument uh, I have written over here fastly. So first we will check how uh, fast works and then we will switch to the slow. And then the third one indicates as per the given speed. So I am changing the ID over here and uh, giving the speed let's say as 1000. Now, uh, let's see that this code is working or not. Here is my index file of my PHP folder. And here we can see the fed events. So, you can see that there are no text over here. When I will be click on it. So, first, uh, the second text that is I will be fed in fastly will be disappeared. Then, uh, the first text is appeared that is i will be fed in as per the normal and then i will be uh, fed in as per the given speed is appeared let's see it again so first the second text then first text and then third text now let's change a thing over here or uh, instead of fast we will give slow and let's again uh, uh, reload file See, now the first appeared, then third appeared, then second appeared. Let's try it again. See. So, it's the difference between fast and slow. If we need to change our speed, then we can. Let's give, uh, instead of 1000, let's give as 2000 and reload file. Then the third text is appeared slowly. So as and when we increase the speed at, at that time, the 
fading effect is being slower. Now let's try by giving the 3000 to it. The 3000 is too slow. And according to your functionality, you can give the speed. So it was a fade in event. Now for, let's try the fade out event. So first of all, I am removing the display none from here. And uh, I will be changing my event that is from fed in to fed out let's implement it so first the uh, first text was disappeared then second and then third now uh, let's change something uh, instead of flow let's type fast over here and again reload the file so uh, now as per experience the second line will be disappeared first then the first line will be disappeared and then the third line so this is the difference between the uh, normalized the parameters and the speed now uh, let's do the fat toggle Let's reload the file. So it has been disappeared. Now again I will click on it. It is displayed. What's the difference between fed in, fed out and fed toggle? So when I have used the fed in event at that time once it is displayed and again I will click on the button it will not disappear. When I will use the fed out event at that time, once it is disappeared, it will not again display. But by using the fed toggle, we can use both the functionalities at the same time. So this is the difference between fed in, fed out and fed toggle. So now we are going to see about fed 2. Now the syntax of fed 2 is somewhat different. Uh, let's see that. First, I am changing my event as fed2 in all these three text. And uh, here I am giving first a speed that is fast or slow. And then using the comma separated, I am giving some numbers. That is, let's say I am given the 0 0.4. Now, what this indicates? 0 0.4 indicates the level of transparency now i am giving this the speed as slow and uh, it's number as 0 0.15 and let's say of uh, fast and giving it as 0 0.3 now let's see the result of it so we can get the clear idea See, the first one and the third one give some difference. The first one, the last one and the middle one. The middle one is too light because we have given the number as 0 0.15 and the 0 0.4 and 0 0.3. So, the, uh, compared to first one and third one, the first one is more lighter than the last one. Or uh, let's change something over here. So the first, the second and the third. So we have given the different types of values to it. And then you can see the different types of transparency level in this three text. The fast and slow 
the speed which we have given is properly implementing over here as we have given the first and third as fast and the second one as slow let's again see our output so the first uh, first and third is being uh, transparent or we can say freeze and the then the third and uh, the middle one is being freezed so this were the all four events that is fed in fed out fed toggle and fed to that is combinedly known as fed events of the jquery uh, thank you for watching my video if you like it then please subscribe my channel